Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's SolidWorks Power Moves video, we're gonna talk about assigning key bindings to creating sketch relationships. Now, if you have followed my channel for a long time, you know I don't usually use keyboard shortcuts and keyboard customizations, so if I'm advising you to do this, this must be really important, and it is. It's something that I didn't know you could do for a long time. I didn't know that you could go in and assign a keyboard shortcut to do something like make this line vertical. I would always click on the line, come up here and choose make vertical but if I press Control Z and then I go up here and I choose right mouse button so anywhere on this toolbar up top here right mouse button and choose customize I can go to the command for keyboard and then I can search here search for V-E-R-T-I vertical and then I'm going to choose here in this list and I'm going to press the letter V on my keyboard and it says currently the keyboard V is assigned do you want to change it to others make vertical I'm going to say yes let's change that to others make vertical so it's not a vertical dimension it's not a vertical quick snap it's this one down here others make vertical and so now what that means is I can click on this line and then I can press the letter V and it makes that line vertical and this is something I just didn't know you could do for a long time I started working with another CAD program on shape and on shape you've got V for vertical and you've got uh, I for coincident and E for equal and you've got Q to take a line and make a construction and I said to myself hey I wonder if you can do that in SolidWorks it's pretty helpful in on shape maybe you can do it in SolidWorks as well. I gave it a try and sure enough, you can do it. So the ones that I use are the ones that I just mentioned there. I'm gonna right mouse button up top here, right mouse button here. I'm gonna say customize and then I'm gonna say keyboard and we've already done vertical. Let's do make horizontal. So H-O-R or H-O-R-I, make horizontal, click in there, H and it says it's already assigned to help. Do you wanna change it to make horizontal? Yes. Let's type in equal here, E-Q-U, uh, EQU, uh, and then here you go, e others make equal, and we'll type in E there, and it's already assigned to filter edges. Yeah, let's change that to make equal. And then another one that I mentioned there was coincident, coincident. So for coincident, uh, we could assign that to I or maybe the letter C, either one of those, Wh whatever works for you. You don't have to use the same ones I'm using. I'm just using the ones that are out of the box and on shape because I bounce back and forth a lot between those two programs. And uh, then the final one that I mentioned was construction, construction geometry. So tools, construction geometry, I'm gonna make that Q. And then it says, do you wanna change it? It's already assigned to something else. Do you wanna change it? Yep, I wanna change that and make that Q. So now I can hit okay. And now if I go to sketch a line and the line isn't quite horizontal, well, what I could do is click on that line and press H, make it horizontal. Click on this line here, press V, make it vertical. If I also wanted that line to be for construction, I can press Q and that changes is that line click here Q make that for construction select both of these press Q turn them back to solid I like that one a lot and uh, you can also see here if I was to make two circles so make a circle here and a circle here and then hit escape and then select both of those circles then what I can do is I can press E and that makes both of those circles equal and that is a very powerful set of power moves. Oh, the other one I didn't show. If I click on this point here, hold control, click this point here, let go of control I, that makes those two coincident. It makes it coincident. So if I wanted this to be on this line, I mean, normally I would probably just take that and drag it onto that line, but it is nice to know that you can maybe take this point here, hold control, click on this line here and press I and make those two coincident. So that is a very powerful power move. It's one that I started using last year in 2025, and it's one that I've continued using and really have saved a lot of time using. I especially like the one where you can select something and press Q and just quickly change it to construction. So let me know down below in the comments if you learned anything from this video, if there's anything that you like about this power move. If you're using different keys for your keyboard shortcuts, let me know that down below in the comments as well. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe. Take a look in the description if you ever wanna take training with Too Tall Toby. We've got a lot of great training courses over on our Thinkific site. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next Too Tall Toby Power Moves.